All right, what's up, you guys? Today we have a lower body workout for you. We're not going to be using any bands today, and you don't have to use any weights. If you would like, you can grab a couple dumbbells to just add some resistance if you're comfortable with that. But if not, don't feel like you have to. So with that being said, we're going to get started with some glute bridges here. I am going to grab a dumbbell only because I'm used to that. I've been working out this whole time. If you are going to have a dumbbell, just make sure it's placed right on your um, quads here. So up and down. Really push through your heels here. You want your feet to be about hip width distance apart here. Good. Press up and down. We're going to go 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Good. Press up. Good. So your cheeks squeeze all the way up. And together, too. We've got 10 more seconds here. Again, you don't need a weight here. And you could put a band around your knees. Often I do that as well, okay? Give me three, two, and one. Good. So take a little bit of a break here, 15 seconds. We're going to do some partial reps, which means just down a little, up a little. Down an inch, up an inch, okay? They are going to be fire, so hang on with me for 45 seconds. Let's go in three two, one, down and up, down an inch and up an inch. Okay. So these are partial reps because they're not full reps. They're not that full range of motion here. Good. Down, press up. And if you need to take a bit of a break, that's totally okay. Just take a couple seconds and get back to it. Okay. 20 seconds here. Good. If you are uncomfortable on your back, um, you know, I would either skip this part or you can come into a kneeling squat. We'll be doing kneeling squats later. So if you're comfortable on your back, I would just keep going. Three, two, and one. Take 15 seconds. And right there, we're coming off of our back. So you're not going to be on your back for very long at all. All right. We're coming in clamshells in three two and one so lift yourself up here with your forearm if that's comfortable for you and we're so we're actually coming up and we're lifting that leg down and back down okay so lift abduct leg lift up come back touch those toes and down okay good good all right we've got about 20 more seconds here you could also add a band here if you would like to add a little bit more resistance. But again, we're not really trying to set any PRs here or anything like that. We're just trying to like keep moving, right? It's good for our hips. I can really feel this in my hips. Really good for the hips. Good. Three, two, and one. Take 15. You guys, pause and take water like whenever you need to, by the way. Even if I'm not stopping, you can pause and take it whenever, okay? Okay. We're going to go here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Clam, lift, and down. Good. And again, you can like take whatever pace serves you best. Um, if I'm going a little bit fast, you guys can slow it right down or vice versa. I want this to be your workout, right? Something that you feel comfortable with. So you're getting the benefit of it. You know your body better than I do. Good. Really make sure that shoulder is right on top of your elbow here. Nice engaged core here. Good. And breathe. Let's go. Five seconds. Go four, three, two, and one. Good. So we are going to be coming up here into like a lunge series. So we're going to be doing a reverse lunge here. Again, you can take a weight if you want. You totally don't have to. I'll show you what that looks like with weight because I normally do do it with weight. So you're coming down and up. Okay, so you can hold your weight here. You can hold your weight behind your head um, and you can also hold it down here. So I would say, um, you know, do whatever serves you like take whatever version serves you best. And if you don't want to come into a reverse, you can totally come in to a stationary lunge here, okay? That's going to be a little bit lower impact. 
and I already feel it you guys good so we're coming in 10 more seconds here good and you can always just alternate with whatever feels the best for you okay good take 15 seconds we are coming into a sumo squat so knees sorry feet nice and wide feet at about 45 and your knees kind of follow your feet here you're getting nice and low and your back it's not really hinged forward really like almost like you're pressing up against a wall okay good come down Ooh, my little belly button is <laughs> poking now <laughs> made its appearance I find so this is my well it's technically my third pregnancy I had a miscarriage with my first um but I find with this pregnancy things are happening a lot quicker I know they always say that but uh, my belly button popped out so much quicker this time it's kind of funny <laughs> good let's go five seconds here go four go three two and one rest for 15 seconds so we're gonna come into the sumo squat pulses again you can totally drop the weight here you don't need it you know so you can either take this goblet variation down here you can put it up here again you can put it on your head okay so we're coming into a pulse pulse it down just an inch pulse it down good really press through those heels make sure your knees are tracking out okay they're not caving in if you know what I mean good keep that core engaged okay good I know it burns it burns but just try to work through the burn here we've got 15 seconds you guys can do it and just drop the weight at any point if you need to okay good go eight give me five go four Woo, three two and one awesome take 15 again take water when you need it now we're going to even out those lunges a little on the other side all right five four go three two and one here we go so again take a reverse lunge take a stationary lunge take weight or ditch weight whatever works for you works for me okay perfect good job you guys hang in there these workouts especially these like prenatal workouts they don't have to be long they don't have to be intense okay we just need to get our body moving our hips moving our legs moving our muscles activating eight more seconds here go five three two and one good take water if you need it actually let's take a full minute rest here take some water we're gonna come into a bit of a quadruped position so that's gonna mean we're gonna coming on our hands and knees and we're gonna do some things on our hands and knees variations there okay hang in there with me we've got about four minutes there we've got a little more squatting to do <laughs> And then we are almost done. Feel free to pause this video at any point. So we have a couple more seconds, but let me just show you what this looks like. So I'm taking my leg out here. We're coming into a rainbow. So imagine like you're drawing a nice semicircle upside down you with your leg here with your toe, okay? And then after that, we're gonna come into some leg lift pulses and some hammer curls. Okay, some of these we are gonna go like minute to minute. So hang in there with me, okay? Let's go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good, so give me that rainbow, nice rainbow. We're gonna go 45 seconds here. We are gonna take 15 seconds rest. And then we're gonna go right into 30 seconds of pulses, 30 seconds of hammer curls. And that means we're gonna go right into the rainbow on the other side, all right? You'll know what I mean here. So make sure your shoulders are right above your wrists here. 
Good. And your neck is neutral. It's in line with your spine. You're not looking up and you're not looking down at all. Nice and neutral, okay? Good. Lift higher. Perfect. I know you can feel it. You'll feel it in both legs. Three, two, one. So you'll feel that in your working leg and your supporting leg. Depending on your hip anatomy, you'll feel it in different ways, in different places, okay? Let's go in five, four, pulses, three, two, one. So pulse it up, pulse it up. And really lead with your heel here just to activate the glutes as opposed to the quads more. So the glutes and hamstring area here, you'll feel this the most, or you should anyway. Good, so we're gonna go 30 here. Good. Give me 10 more seconds here and then we're coming into those hammer curls. Oh my goodness. Nice. All right, hammer curls here. So you come in and out, in and out. And the reason we're condensing it here is because I just don't want you guys on your hands and knees for way too long. So we're doing this little series, 15 seconds here. And remember, so in about 10 seconds, we're going to go right into rainbows on the other side, okay? Good. Five. Go three, two, and one. Oh, it's like it bittersweet because you get to like even out the burn a little. <laughs> Good. And I just want you guys to know, like I know sometimes it can be hard to get motivated to work out during pregnancy. Um, but it is one of those things that it really is just so beneficial in so many different ways. It's good to keep moving. You know what I mean? And our body needs that, especially when things are super lax and our body needs that stability, that strength. And, um, you know, when we get too stagnant, 10 more seconds here, we get stiff and our, our like hips start hurting, our back starts hurting. So the best way to kind of relieve some of that tension is to work out and to strength train and to do some yoga. And I found I did a lot of yoga in my first, um, with my previous pregnancy, three, two, and one. But honestly, like, because our ligaments and everything is so lax, it's like stretching already lax body um, can actually be like not harmful. I wouldn't say harmful, but our body, what it really needs when it is so lax is it needs that strength and it needs that stability. So the way to do that is through, you know, more toning and strength training. And like I said, it doesn't have to be three, two, one. It doesn't have to be, um, intense. It doesn't have to be like setting records we don't have to push so much weight, but it's good for us to activate our muscles and just exercise them accordingly. So we have 15 more seconds here. Really push through your heel. Good. Make that an active push. Good. So after this, we're going to come into a one and a half squat. So like a squat and a half. I'll show you what that looks like here. Good. Go three, two, and one. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Get yourself up. Grab weight if you want. We'll go in 30 seconds here. This one and a half squat is going to look like this. We're coming a little closer. It's not a sumo squat. We're coming down, lifting halfway up, coming back down, and lifting all the way up, okay? So, again, wherever you want to put your weight, I'm cool with. Let's go in 10 seconds here. Go five, four, pick it up in three, two, and one. Here we go. Down, half, down, and lift. Good. And lift. Down, halfway up, halfway down, lift. Good. After this, we are going to come into an alternating curtsy lunge, okay? And then we're going to finish off with some kneeling squats. That's what I was telling you about at the beginning. So it's kind of like another variation of glute bridges, okay? Let's go 20 more seconds here. Again, pause, grab water whenever you need to, okay? 
make sure you're breathing out on the hardest part of the lift. So when you're kind of coming back up. Good. That's a concentric portion of the movement. Okay. Three, two, and one. With these curtsy lunges, you can grab weight or you can ditch it, whatever you feel comfortable with. Just want to show you. So we're coming curtsy lunge together and other side together. Okay. Let's go in three, two, and one. Curtsy lunge. I used to try and do curtsy lunges like right to the side here. Um, but your knee, you want to make sure it's following your foot. You know what I mean? So it's okay if you're not way behind. Like you just don't want to be twisting your knee so much to where your <laughs> it's like coming out of the socket. But enough to where you're exercising that outer glute that glute meat as opposed the glute meat sorry as opposed to um just the lunge right where you're focusing more on hamstring good let's go five seconds here four three two and one we're gonna end with some kneeling squats here okay kneeling squats whatever you want to call them you can put your weight here or you can put it back here but basically knees touching in the back knee are kind of uh, pressed out and it's like a glute bridge, but more so like you're thrusting the air, right? So you're coming down and you're lifting and try to take any arch away from your back here. Nice and strong. Good. Let's go 20 more seconds, you guys. And then we're all done. Okay. Awesome. Keep going. Good. Let's go 10 seconds. Go three. Go two. Go one. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Drop that weight. Woo. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys so much. And let me know if there's anything specific that you want or kind of like our craving to work out during your pregnancy. Wishing you guys nothing but luck through pregnancy. And this is totally safe to do, obviously, uh, if you're not pregnant. So get after it, you guys. Take care.